Hello poetry lovers and poetry curious. Part of the box series here. Uh, my, my library in boxes. This appears, this is box F. And I think this is, yeah. This is more instruction, but not entirely. There's my Edward Arlington Robinson. I was wondering where that had gotten to. Okay. I was thinking about it, and I thought, gosh, did I get, did I get rid of that? Because it's a chunky, it's a chunky thing. Um, and the reason my, my uh, books are in boxes is because I expect to move. And so I'm kind of actually, this is kind of a, a chunky reading year so that I can let go of some things that I probably don't need to have. In other words, if I read them and they, you know, I'm not in love, then I can just let them go. But this appears to be a, a box that is mostly about poetry. So let's, let's go. Um, a Book of Poetry 1. I think that's an instructional volume, but I, I thought it was, you know, that the poems it had in it were interesting and stuff like that. The Inferno of Dante. Yes, and I have not read Dante. Um, Perrine's, Perrine's Sound and Sense, instructional book, Ecstatic Occasions, Expedient Forms. Um, there are a number of books that are kind of like this, where um, they, you know, they feature a poem, and either the poet talks, and you know, usually it is the poet talks about it. So this has expedient forms, and so if I'm recalling correctly, this is a book that has the different forms of poetry, like Villanelle or Sonnet, uh, Sistina, whatever. And so there is formal poetry, and then maybe the poet talks about why they chose a form, a formal form, a set form, a predetermined form, instead of writing free verse, I think. And here's another one, an exaltation of forms. I think those are very similar. Collected, so both anthologies with commentary. Collected poems of Edwin Arlington Robinson, The Odyssey. Again, I have not read The Odyssey. And The Great Critics. And I don't like to read a lot of criticism. So, I don't know... <laughs> I don't know that I'll ever get around to that book. I should look at that book and make a decision as to whether it should be taking up space and whether it's worth the wait. Um, middle, let's see. So the middle is just the middle of the box. The Sounds of Poetry by Robert Pinsky. Another, I don't know that you'd call that sort of thing instructional so much as... Um, Because sometimes poetry instruction by poets, which Robert Pinsky is a poet, um, they're almost more narrative and more about how to appreciate poetry. How to read a poem and start a poetry circle. Uh, field guide to prose poetry. which I think is just a collection of poetry. And then uh, Metamorphosis, which I have not read. Uh, the Top 500 Poems, clearly an anthology of some kind. I haven't been dead. This, this box is down at the bottom. <laughs> the box is down at the bottom of like two or three other boxes. So I don't get down here very often. Um, the Practice of Poetry, A Formal Feeling Comes, which is um, a good anthology that features formal poetry, edited, I believe, by Annie Finch. The Poetics of Indeterminacy, uh, Spreading the Word, all of these are more about poetry than they are actual poetry. Um, An Introduction to Poetry by X.J. Kennedy. The Making of a Poem. I think that's like these other ones up here that is just um, 
where there's a poem presented and then the poet talks about uh, how it came to be. Encyclopedia of Poetry and Poetics. It's always good to have one of those. Uh, the Language of Life, which is an anthology based on, I think it was a TV series back in the day. But it's very good. Uh, it includes a, an interview with the poets and a selection of their poetry. I will probably uh, end up reading to you some poems from that at some point in the future. I think that's the only volume at this point that I have of Quincy, that has Quincy Troop in it, and I really like Quincy Troop. And I have kind of regretted that I had gotten rid of some of his books in the past. <laughs> so I don't have any now. 18th century English literature. And that's just a big, so I have some of these, there's a Victorian one too that's in another one. And they're like big old instructional books, uh, but they're full of the poetry of that time. And that, I think, is one of them. All right, so that's box F. And I think we've got, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Is this the end of, we've done that one, that one. I don't know. We've got fewer or smaller. There might be one more big box, and then there might be two smaller boxes in another room. So, yep, we're, we're running down toward the end of the poetry boxes. All right, everybody. Again, this was just for the sake of, you know, what does my collection look like? I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.